Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm finally going to be showing you the bumper that's going to be going on the 370Z. I've had it for a few months. I think it's been about three months already, but I've never actually showed you guys what it looks like or what's going to be going on the car. Um, it did take a while because it was damaged, so I really wanted to get it to a good point where I can show you guys what it looks like and what it's going to look like on the car once we put it on. So let me actually show you guys the bumper right now. Bam! There you guys go. Here's the bumper for the 370Z. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys have already seen it. But this is the Weber, Weber, not sure exactly how you say it, but it's spelled W-E-B-E-R. Bumper for the 370Z. And it is from Fly One Motorsports. So this is an aftermarket replica bumper. It is not the authentic version, which is perfectly fine. I think the authentic ones are a little too expensive anyway. Just a quick disclaimer, it did not come like this from factory this bumper has been repaired to look brand new it doesn't have all this messiness right here i'm not sure about this because when i picked it up it was really like that but it does come like this from factory with this like color right here so right here i'll show you guys the back right now this piece was like all over here this piece was over here making it into two so if we look at the back you guys can see where most of the damage is right here right there you can see the split where it went all the way down. So my homie Flash, I'll leave his information down below. I actually ended up fixing the bumper for me, uh, making it look 100% perfect. I did help out a little bit, but if I'm being completely honest, he did like most, if not all the work uh, when it came to making the bumper look 100% brand new. I did some of the fiberglass work on the bumper, so I didn't get to show you guys that. Uh, but the good thing is that I do need to do some fiberglass work anyway on my um, diffuser, uh, right about here. I need to fix this, so I'll be doing a video on that if you guys are interested in learning how to do some fiberglass. I'm really, really happy with this bumper, especially because this was actually one of my options that I wanted to pick out. Um, there was, I believe, two other ones that I really wanted, but this was one of my favorite just because it's so aggressive. And if you guys remember from my previous videos, I love long noses on the 370Z. I've always liked like the long nose that goes all the way down. Same thing with this Nismo bumper. This is the partial carbon fiber version. So if you look at it right here, you guys can see that it does have carbon fiber. And it also has a little inserts, as you guys can see those lines right there, that go right in that hole. They are carbon fiber as well. I did want the lights for this bumper. I'm not sure if you guys follow Danny Z. I'm sure you guys do. He's like one of the most famous people when it comes to the 370Z. He has the lights on his. And it looks so good. I want those lights, but I can't find them and I don't know where to get them. I tried looking online at the website already for the ones with the lights. I really want to show you guys this bumper because I do have a lot of plans for it. I do want to make my custom front splitter. I do want to add like some canards. And then it starts to get painted, so there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be coming uh, for this bumper that I want to do to make it stand out and look pretty sick. There's going to be a lot more videos coming. On my bumper, I did attach or install these quick release latch buttons on here. But what you essentially do is you make a hole on the bumper, you put this in there, a nut that goes in there to tighten it up so it doesn't get loose. So that's how it looks right there. Same thing with this side. Now on my car, I attach the hardware that came with the kit. Here's the bolt that goes on there. So you just push it in and it clips on there and then you push the button and it releases it. So it's a quick way to release your bumper. The reason I did this is because, well, there's actually like two. One is this thing right here, the plastic piece that goes on here to clip onto the bumper. I actually lost mine and I don't have it. The second reason I went ahead and did it this way is because my fender and bumper are really close to the tire. So it's going to most likely end up hitting it and cracking it. And in order to prevent that, I think it's better that I attach this directly right here. So I don't have that issue in the future. Those are the main reasons why I did it. I purchased all this hardware right here, the additional one from Home Depot. So if you guys have one locally too, you can go ahead and purchase it. It's just two bolts, two locking nuts in the back. And then right here, I purchased this metal piece at Home Depot. They have a like a large one that you can purchase and you can just cut it with like a grinder and or you can use like some metal cutting scissors and it should cut right through this metal piece right here. And then I just bent it at a slight angle and then now it just clips on there. So that's how it's attached. And then I use my OEM plastic clips that go in there, which are these right here. 
Let's go ahead and put on the bumper and then I'll pick it up in a few minutes once it's all done. There you guys go, that's how the bumper looks. I do need to shave it down a little bit when it comes to like the size right here because it is like kind of hit and I do have to push up the bracket a little bit to make it fit perfect. Uh, same thing right here, I just push the bracket up a little bit to make it fit perfect and then right here I need to like sand it down a little bit to make it fit good as well. But other than that, um, it fits really good, no issues, and it looks pretty dope too. Let's go ahead and take it out so I can show you guys what it looks like. Alright guys, so here's the new bumper on the Z. As you guys can see, it looks really aggressive now at like every single angle when it comes to the front of the car. Let's look at that. One thing I will say about this bumper is it sits kind of high compared to like the OEM bumper. So if you're concerned about it hitting the floor, it's not that close to the floor if I'm being completely honest with you. If you look at it right here, there's honestly still about two inches from the ground. So it does sit pretty high. So it might be kind of good for those of you that are looking for a, a low friendly bumper, but those of you that I actually want, a low bumper that sits on the floor this might not be the one for you you will need something kind of extra for the bottom i do know that they sell like an extra lip for it so i think you should purchase that if you wanted to sit really low to the ground but yeah, it looks really good goes well with the vents and then right here with the hole on the front of the bumper looks really dope makes it look even more aggressive Hope you guys like the new bumper. Came out really sick. I can't wait till I make the splitter. It's gonna look even better because it's gonna extend it a little bit more to the front and then adding some little winglets to the side. I think it's gonna stand out even more once I add that on there and the wing as well. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car on that way it's can see with the underglow. So we're going to go ahead and end the video right there. Hope you guys enjoy the new bumper that's going to be going on the 370Z. I have received a lot of feedback from you guys on Instagram. That a lot of you guys like it. And I'm really excited for what's to come to it. We still got to do the splitter, uh, the little inserts for the hole. And then we also got to paint it. So it's going to look a little bit different once it's all done. Now I did get a few questions on Instagram in regards to the fitment. How it was, if I had any issues. Now, as I stated earlier, the bumper was used. It was broken. It was split in half. So we did have to make adjustments to it to make it fit so i'm not sure how it came from factory if it was perfect or not um, i did get some information from flash he said that he did have to make small adjustments from factory to make it fit but in my personal and honest opinion whenever you are buying replica parts from any auto parts store wherever you're purchasing it from it is always going to have some type of fitment issue so you're going to have to shave down something um, cut it a little bit just to make it fit perfect so it's not always going to be perfect just be aware that you're always going to have to make some type of adjustment there's some cases where it does come out perfect where you don't need to really make any adjustments but in most cases you do have to do that i believe on the fly one motorsports website i'll go ahead and like scroll through it right here I'll, and i'll put a video but the bumper is about over a thousand dollars just for the bumper itself not including the little fins that go on the inserts I believe that's an additional like $600 for the carbon fiber ones. So at this bumper, you're looking at something that's pretty expensive just for the bumper. Now that's not including paint. Paint would be possibly another $300 to $500 depending on where you get it painted from. So just considering that is a pretty expensive bumper. 
Now, I have seen on different websites where they sell a bumper. It's under a different name. I believe it's called Weber Zenith Line front bumper for the 370Z. And that one is averaging close to $3,000 for carbon fiber fins, but it also includes like the LED lights. I'm not sure about the Fly One, so I'm trying to figure out where to get these LED lights. I'm going to have to purchase it from them. But the, for those lights alone, it's pretty expensive. It's like an additional $600 just to do that. So I'll go ahead and like show the video right here of that part as well, um, how much it is. So I think that one was about $2,700 $2, just for that front bumper with the fins, the carbon fiber, things like that. So it's pretty expensive. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like subscribe hit that bell notification and i'll catch you guys in the next one